Here we have a stepper motor from a hard drive from a computer that's being driven by a PIC microcontroller. It's running a PIC Basic Pro program that generates a square wave that sequences the coils in the stepper through a set of transistors to increase the step rate of the motor. Right now it's stepping at a very slow speed and you can notice the classic a second order system response where you get overshoot and oscillation on each step. The system has very little damping. Now that the speed is increasing, we're starting to get closer and closer to the natural frequency of this motor system. When we reach the natural frequency, you're going to get resonance, so the amplitude will grow so large that the electronics will try to force the motor to do something that it can't, and it will miss some steps. And we're getting close to that right now. Very large amplitude oscillation. There, is, there are the missteps. As the speed increases further, eventually the motor will sync up again with the magnetic fields, and the rotation rate will again correspond with the square wave output from the chip. There it is. We're back in sync now. When the speed of the square wave from the chip is increased dramatically, the motor has a lot of momentum now. So as the magnetic fields are stepped around the perimeter, the rotor keeps up with those, and the result is a very smooth motion.